Range Rover Evoke, we are going to have a go at upgrading the mirror side repeater from this flashy blinky type to, I've fitted one over here, the swoopy swoopy dynamic type that goes along like that. And when it's off, it's you'll notice it's a black colour, whereas this other one is a chrome colour. So not only does it look good when it's flashing, it looks good when it's off. So we're going to show you how to do that now. Um, you got to remove the mirror cover there's two screws to undo and then you'll fit the new unit so let me just swap cameras over here and this is what we're looking at so this is the original unit i've taken out the other side and you can see how it's silvery and it's got a little connector on the back in there and it's held on with two screws one going through this hole here and one going through this and that is the type we're going to replace it with so it, you can see it's a like for like purpose built exactly the same shape and that's going to pop in right here we go right now let me grab me grab my tools and let's have a go right now the mirror covers on this this is the same indicator unit as used in the discovery 4 facelift the l405 the sport 494 but although the indicator assembly the mirror is different it's a different shape mirror but they've used the same indicator so Consequently, getting the mirror cover off is not the same. On the Sport and the Vogue, there's a little bit, and I've done the other video for that, and you get in there. But these are a bit more tricky. So what we're going to do um, is, right, if you come around this side here, we've got to find a little hole in here. All right, so if you come all the way around. So if you, you can move your mirror glass, and there's a little hole in here. I've forgotten where it is now. Right in the corner there. All right. And if you wiggle your screwdriver around in there, you can push and release the mirror, right? So what you've got there is you've got this little hole here, right? And it comes through, and if you look on this side, you can see you've got this little bit here, and this little clip on here, it's not much of a clip, this little edge catches on that. Now, if it still doesn't come off after that, there are a series of other clips. You can see these three clips or I'll keep there's one two three here and they dock into these little bits here and the other thing you can do is again if you go in from the top of the mirror if you go around the front and you flip your mirror down if you go along this top edge you'll feel where the clips are and then if you come around this side you'll see there you'll feel you'll come along and then you'll feel and what you've got to do is just press down on that so start with the one here and have a go with these and you should better get it off my mirror cover has been off a couple of times so it might be a bit looser than yours right enough of all that next thing you need is a Torx T10 which I've got here right, a little Torx T10 driver and the first screw is in here right, let's have a go uh, there you go Always oh, coming out with some spiderification by the looks of it. A spidey web in there. So there we go, there's a little, little one of those. I don't lose those. There's another one just in there. When George did the video, he coloured them in orange for us, but oh, there's only two of them. drop him come on there we go right so they're both the same right let me put those in a little pot right now it, you'll notice it now starts to wobble a bit but what you got to do is you got to wiggle it out a bit and sort of lift but you'll see it's sort of the mirror goes the light goes round into the mirror there so you have to sort of as you have to give it a bit of a jiggle and it will come out um, and then you'll see we've got the connector here. Now what you've got on the connector is you've got a little a little catch. Let me just grab a, a little pointy thing. So what you've got to do is you've got to lift this, this little bit here up. Can you see that going there? And then if you pull, pull on the cable and lift that up, it should come out. So you see you've got a little, there's a little bit here. And it goes up and over that little step there. And it's this little bit here. Let me see that that little bit there. You've got to 
just push that up a bit right and that releases that so that's that out right now i get the new one right here we go right so you got to make sure on the new one it's exactly the same so you get the little step towards you give it a wiggle now one guy did say he had trouble getting it in now if the pen pins are a bit bent try putting it in the other way um because that works fine now and that should now get that corner in tuck that in now one thing i didn't show you is there is a little guide here if you look just here there's a little guide that the the cable's supposed to sit in so put that on we've got the hazard warning lights on when we're doing this there we go that's all tucked in now all right make sure Make sure it works before you go to the effort of putting the mirror cap on. But obviously you've got to put the screws back in. And I'll put the screws back in, but I will come back and show you how to put the mirror cover back on. Yeah. Right, so we've got the two screws in and we've got to put the cover back on. The trick is getting this back edge in and making sure it's low. Making sure it's right in that corner. There we go. And it should be flush round here. If it's sticking out here, you haven't got it right. If there's a gap here, you haven't got it right. But you might have to do it a couple of times. But there you go. I was lucky. They got that first time. Right. So there we go. We've got these back in stock. Range Revoke, Dynamic LED upgrade done.